continue this now. The ANC leadership contest ahead of its uh, NASREG conference is currently hotting up. Former Eastern Cape Premier Pumulo Maswale is being backed for the SG position. Uh, the Deputy Public Enterprises Minister was ousted by Oscar Mabuyane in the now infamous Festival of Chairs conference. And that decision to support Maswale said tongues wagging as their own former provincial secretary, Dumseni Nduli, was snubbed. Let's discuss all of this now with Pumulo Maswale, who joins me to take this conversation for what good morning to you and thank you so much for not only joining you by matching with me uh, this morning <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much thank you greetings to you greetings to and, you uh, greetings to the viewers at home thank absolutely. you absolutely uh, are you are you ready to hit the call it seems you're getting uh, support garnering from you know the likes of the KZN uh, ANC region is this a call that you're ready to answer well uh, once I agreed yes I really geared myself to it mm. and it's uh, it's doing very well I think so I mean, it, it's, uh, the, the SG position is regarded as one of the most important, uh, you know, leadership positions within the ANC. What work lies ahead uh, for whomever? Uh, I know that you're, of course, ready to heed that call, but whomever that is to occupy that position, what work do you think lies ahead for them? Well, firstly, it is um, to get the, the machinery up and running. Uh, to, at the moment, there are quite a number of... Um, we may have done well in terms of uh, issues to, of membership, the administration of all those, but of course uh, the new challenges have cropped up. Uh, we have got to ensure that uh, we've got a properly equipped, uh, uh, properly uh, empowered uh, machinery, uh, resourcing it so that it can be able to oversee the execution, the implementation of programs. Of course, secondly, I think you need to have a coherent leadership a leadership that uh, will ensure oversight and drive over the, uh, the, I mean, the resolutions, agreements arrived at. And I think uh, we were really moving somewhat from a very d d d big uh, d deficit in that uh, we've had quite a number of challenges during mm. this term. Uh, so going ahead, it's actually trying to make up even for that time uh, and that effort mm. uh, that we missed out on. Yeah, and, and let's get, delve a little bit deeper into those challenges, uh, Mr. Masuali, because uh, the legacy, as opposed to, or even the image of the SG, uh, you could agree with me, it's been tainted, uh, you know, by the removal of uh, Ace Marashule quite, uh, quite recently. What's then the plan to restore the dignity of that position? Because if an important figure, such as, uh, you know, the now suspended SG, uh, you know, was removed, and, you know, obviously we know Paul Machetil is standing in that position, what would it take then to restore uh, that image? Well, firstly, it, it, it is to get the SGO up and running. And of course, that can only be done by conference. We'll go through conference, and uh, it should be that conference puts in place uh, uh, very fit and proper persons uh, to lead uh, all the portfolios, but more specifically also the SGO, uh, so that work could begin in earnest. Mm -hmm. I think it, it would start uh, there. And then, uh, of course, it should be that uh, given uh, the importance of the office as the uh, critical engine, uh, engine room, so to speak, I think you need to have a, a quite a broad-shouldered character to be able to lead that effort uh, because the organization right now tends to express itself in uh, a self-defeating kind of thing, uh, divisions, etc. We need that office to actually drive a process that will ensure that seamlessly in the execution of programs, mm. we undermine the state of divisions within the organization. Right. We, we've seen, of course, uh, uh, Cyril Ramaphosa, uh, as well as other members of the ANC right now, heading to you know, the elective conference in December, uh, campaigning you know, heavily uh, to ensure that you know, they remind, I suppose, their voters, the ANC voters, of why uh, they are in leadership. But th that is just playing outside. Internally, when you speak of factions, how are you dealing uh, with the different factions that uh, could jeopardize that vision that you speak of this morning? Well, look, uh, uh, my view on that is that uh, we, we need to have, um, you don't have to like it as each other as, as uh, elected individuals, but you've got to commit to carrying out what is agreed, but also sit together in meetings. Whatever gets out of the meetings must be implemented just as it has been taken the decision. So I think uh, that will go a long way uh, towards ensuring that we present a united face in the things that we do. What is bad is um, where they sometimes you say this 
to suit a particular occasion and only the actions uh, to be in the contrary. That's a problem. It's something that we can defeat. And I think in, in this, the effort should be of leadership to join their efforts and to commit in the same way to executing agreed upon decisions. Mm. Do you think the ANC stands a chance come 2024 to continue to lead given also some of those internal uh, you know challenges that you speak of today I mean you saying that it's not about necessarily liking each other personally but doing the work of the organization so w w with that even being said is the ANC still coming out with a clean sweep? Well I'm very very confident of that we've been in difficult situations in the past and the ANC has always had the ability to regain uh, its, uh, its composure, and I'm even sure right now uh, it is what we're going to see. You see us through 2023, I think uh, we will uh, uh, surprise many hmm. who are beginning to count the ANC uh, out uh, in 2024. I'm very, very much uh, hopeful. Right. I mean, we, we've received, I'm going to put you on the spot because we've received uh, different reports about what regions prefer to be their president, their deputy, their SG, uh, their TG. We've seen different names being thrown in the hat. If you were to give us your top six uh, leadership, if I can <laughs> put you on the spot this morning, who would right. it be? L look, uh, to, to be quite honest, th that's a function of um, delegates at conference. And of course, the, you've got to give room for the interface between uh, different uh, views insofar as the preferences that are made. I can tell you, uh, no one can actually ge guess and say this would be what will emerge. And of course, being part of the leadership in the NEC, uh, I, I, would, I would rather defer any discussions about that within the NEC where we have the opportunity to speak, pronounce ourselves in that, who do you think and for what reason, but for now, it should be left to branches to deal with that. All right, well, we leave it then. I appreciate you speaking to me this morning. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Pumuda Maswale, for joining me this morning, of course, receiving uh, support. Uh, we understand, uh, former Eastern Cape ANC chairperson, uh, former uh, premier, of course, of the Eastern Cape as well, receiving support from the ANC in KwaZulu-Natal uh, for the position of ASG, rather, in 